hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to make this fabric suitcase so this project i made it with leftover fabrics so if you have some leftover fabrics laying around this project is definitely for you so guys before we get started please do not forget to subscribe and like this tutorial before we waste any time let's get to it so guys we're going to start with our rectangle shape which is 50 by 40 inches and I'm going to use my plate so that I can shape the top edge of my bag. And you want to do this on the front panel and the back panel of the bag. So the next thing guys is from the top edge, I am going to mark 5.5 inches and then draw a line across the pattern. Once we're done, we want to separate these two pieces so that we'll be able to insert the zip. So you want to take the zip, make sure that it's right sides facing and now go to the sewing machine and sew a straight stitch. Now, once you are done, you want to flip the zip in and do another top stitch. Now, take note, guys, I am using my zipper foot for attaching the zip. So once you're done, you want to take the other piece, make sure that it's right sides facing and sew a straight stitch. Now, once it's attached, this is how it will look. The next thing is to attach the center pocket. Now the first piece is 6.5 by 3 inches and the other piece is 6.5 by 6.5. The lining is 10 inches by 6.5 inches. So we're going to start with the main fabric by attaching the zip first and sew it a straight stitch. And then once I am done, I'm going to take the top piece also and attach it. Pin it down, sew a straight stitch. And then flip it in and sew a top straight stitch also. And our zip is complete. So the next thing is to take the lining, make sure they are right sides facing and you want to pin it down and sew a top straight stitch also. Then turn it back and then you want to do another top stitch. guys our pocket is complete now at the bottom of our bag we need to mark 6.5 from one side and 6.5 from the other side from this marking we need to attach our center pocket right in the middle and then pin it down next thing is want to go ahead and sew a straight stitch right on the edge So once we are done attaching the zip, the center pocket, we need to go ahead and cut out the excess of the zip. So for the belt, I'm going to go ahead and cut out a 55 inches long of the belt. So now we need to make sure that we attach it right on the edge of our pocket, pin it down on both sides. Then take it to the sewing machine and sew a stretch stitch right on the edge. So the next thing is to attach the lining. I'm going to turn my front panel right at the back. Just place the lining, which is the wrong sides facing. Go to the sewing machine and sew a straight stitch right on the edge. Now 
so guys now we need to attach the piping so we need to mark half an inch from the edge of our bag and this is the point where we're going to start sewing our piping so i'm going to place my piping one inch away from the marking and just sew or attach the piping around the bag And now we're going to go ahead and attach the base which is 20 by 5.5 inches so for the base this black part i want it to be the outside of our bag so i'm just going to make sure that the base is facing right sides with the with the front panel and then attach the bottom and sew a straight stitch now this is the sides so the side is 47 by 55 inches and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the zip right sides facing right on the edge. Go ahead and take it to a sewing machine and sew a straight stitch. Once you are done, you want to flip it in and do another top stitch. Now it's time for us to attach the side panel with the base and the front part of the pattern. So right on the side, I'm going to make sure that the side panel is facing the right side with the base, pin it down, and then turn it to the side of the front panel. So you want to follow the instruction that is shown on the screen. So once we are done pinning the side panel guys, we want to go to the sewing machine and sew a stretch stitch right on the side. And then we're going to move on working on the back panel of this bag. For the back panel, I have already attached the lining including the piping. So on the bottom, I'm going to mark 6.5 on the side and another 6.5 on the side. Then attach the belts. So right in between the belt, I am going to attach my vinyl pocket, which is 6.5 by 10 inches also. And I'm going to place it right in between the belt, pin it down and sew a straight stitch. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and attach the front panel piece right on the side and i'm going to make sure that i pin all around so when you do so please make sure that the zip is open so that you'll be able to flip it on the right side so take this to the sewing machine and sew a straight stitch So guys, the bag is almost done. I want to go ahead and attach a bias right around the seam so that I can cover up all the rough edges. So guys, this is how our bag looks on the inside. It's very neat because of the bias. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it to the right side so that we'll be able to do a top stitch right on top. And when you reach the zipper side, make sure that you skip the zip and then continue sewing. So guys, once you reach the zipper part, make sure you do a back stitch, then lift your foot and including the needle, then skip the zip, then continue sewing around the bag. Then guys, I will show you how the bag turned out. And there we go guys, this is how our bag, our traveling bag turned out. So the seam also that we did on the outside, there we go. I really wish I could do this bag with a different fabric so that it can pop out. But this was just for you guys. I hope you enjoy making this project as much as I did. As for me, see you on the next one.